G'day Virgo, welcome back to TJ Teradanda. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. Let's see what's going on. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Virgo, please. So this is a general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or you can check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Whoa, okay. Clarify card one, please. Cross watches. This could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So please do keep that in mind. As you may not be the only one thinking about Virgo. Clarify card two, please. Hmm. Clarify card three, please. Oh dear, there go. I hate to say it, but I already think this is someone from the past again. <sighs> three more cards, please. Oh, got them. Um, all the decks are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them. In case you're interested, clarify card one in row two, please. Ooh, interesting. Clarify card two in row two, please. in there and clarify card three in row two please all right let's begin all right very soon clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now Six of Wands, success or attention. So very soon they're going to be seeking your attention. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Very soon they're going to be seeking your attention. Virgo, wanting your attention. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So they're trying to call you in as a soulmate. Nine of Swords, because they're living in a nightmare. Knight of Wands. The player card. The Sun. And the Fool. Yeah, they're trying to call you back in because they're living in a bit of a nightmare. They want to have passionate action with you. That's what they want to make them ha think will make them happy. But they may just be fooling around. Be happy to fool around with you. Mm, somebody's missing the passionate action with you. Thinking it's soulmate. That's not, no. The nightmare of their player actions being exposed in the sunlight. Hoping to fool you again. <laughs> Don't like this. This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. Three of Swords and the Chariot. So they think you, that you're the one and they want to move on from this heartbreak, the heartbreak between that they feel. They want to move on from this or from you being heartbroken about them, what they've done. 
They want you to move on from it and be their one. I'm I'm hearing get over it. <sighs> like really, 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 mate. Up all night with the passionate action will make them happy. To fall around. Sleepless nights of passionate action. And during the day falling around. This is what they see as a soulmate. Someone they can fall around with. Wanting your attention. When are you going to move on from heartbreak? Like, <clears throat> purpose, I know what I am here to do. Okay, what do they think their purpose is? Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, two single cards. Be single, single, stable, independent, emotionally fulfilled on your own. Queen of Cups. Best love in the deck. Best love humanly possible. Knight of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. So their purpose is for their own stability and their own emotional fulfillment here. To get the best love they can out of you. To find the best loves. That want to move forward with actions of, or move them forward with actions of stability towards their own stable beginning. Because it's a one, it's an ace. I just don't feel that it's a stable beginning for both of you. Because we've got, especially with two single cards here. I just don't trust this energy. I just don't trust it. Coming in wanting attention. Seeing a soulmate as someone they can play with and fool around with. Wanting you to get over the heartbreak. Like, I just don't see them as... Like, if two people are at this Nine of Cups and Nine of Pentacles, yeah, Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups works if you're both there. But this, they're also single cards and this can be selfishness. And that's what I'm feeling here. Wanting your beautiful love, Virgo, male or female, to move them, to move them forward with actions of stability for their own selfishness. <coughs> yeah, because their purpose is to become single, stable and independent, emotionally fulfilled. I don't... Mm. Failure. Failure. Mm. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. The Queen of Swords. Yeah, they failed before because they didn't come correctly. And this is your energy, Virgo. You've got your sword up. No one's getting near... Especially this energy is not getting near your heart. No way. Because they've failed the sword of truth. How many times? The death card. Yeah. And the queen of pentacles. There you are. Yeah. Yeah. See, they know they've failed. Because they haven't come correctly. That's why it's over with you. Male or female. This is you. They know it's over with you. They know they've failed you. That's why it ended. <sighs> Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. And the magician. The, yeah. I'm going to try and... It's a magic trick. We're going to try and trick you into forgiving them and giving them another chance. Which, you know, you can forgive them. 
if that's what they want. Doesn't mean you have to manifest. Doesn't mean you have to be with them. <coughs> if, you know. You don't have to forgive them either. But I mean don't. Yeah. As it says I, I acknowledge that harbouring resentment. Blocks the flow of love. Don't hold on to negative energy. Regarding this. X, but yeah, it's up to you if you <coughs> what you do. But mm, I don't like the attitude. I don't like the attitude. Oh dear! Oh, exhausting energy. And yeah, look, they think you're going to be together again. What is this energy you want to say to Virgo, please? What would they like to say? No. Let's try again. What would they like to say to Virgo? Hmm. I heard this friend's coming out a bit tonight. I only want to be with you. <laughs> yeah, that's what they want to say. And can we at least be friends? Yeah, so they can keep the door open. I just don't, yeah, there's trickery here. I don't like it. I don't like it. Ah, dear. Very dodgy. Yeah, so the same old, same old Virgo. <laughs> yeah. And trick, wanting to trick you into forgiveness, forgiving them. Yeah, because they don't actually, yeah, they're not sorry for what they've done. They failed to come correctly. They failed to change and transform, and they failed to be committed. So, but, yeah. Hmm. All right, Virgo. <laughs> That's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment. That would be awesome. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. All right. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.